Hi, it's March favorites time and I decided to do a get ready with me. I've been blowing you guys up with this right here and I did this look from this palette right here. And if you want to see what colors I used in the Pirates of Caribbean palette, stay tuned. I would just like to say to you, my people, my YouTube family, I've been watching the videos from all of you. I watch every race, every color, all the women and men who wear makeup. <laughs> I watch you all and I love it. But let me tell you something. I noticed that the sisters are sleeping on Pirates of Caribbean. I know you trust your YouTubers, but I'm going to say to, this to you. This was, this 52 broke me. I can't buy nothing else. In fact, in order to swatch the lipsticks, I had to go to Ulta every day and try a new one on. And that video will be out because they're beautiful. But your girl, 52, bam. And I'm so glad I got it. This is a review. And after the review, you will see how I created this makeup lip. If you're interested, this palette takes Lorat to another level. I have said this before. I don't have a whole lot of views normally, but maybe, you know, I'll get, you know how people sometimes find a channel. Maybe somebody will find my channel and I'll just blow up. That would be great. But in the meantime, I have always used Lorac's basic formula and not their pro formula because I found that the basic formula was more pigmented and it was cheaper. This palette right here, I'm sorry, the palette is, I did a review on the palette, first impression on the palette unboxing when I got it. It is holographic, but this Lorac eyeshadow, you will see when I'm doing my eyeshadow, there is no fallout. I have never used Lorac eyeshadows before that had no fallout. It's buttery, it's pigmented, it lasts all day. I mean, do y'all see that cut crease? Do y'all see that? No glitter is being used. This is all done with eyeshadows, which I call smoke and mirror. I didn't have to pay no extra $50 to get somebody's glitter in two different colors. And I don't have to deal with no wet, wet stingy eyeballs. I saw Tati's video. She put some glitter eyeshadow on. She was in there. She's like, I'm, my eyeballs are burning. You know, sometimes you get to an age where you just have to, but this is comfortable, it's beautiful, and it's, I mean, going out with the girls, the weekend, even church. Shoot, you could wear this to somebody's wedding even, you know, if you if you that girl like I am. You know, my, my friends and family wouldn't have any problem with me coming to the wedding with this, with a floral dress on. I mean, oh my goodness. Are you guys seeing this? Oh my goodness. I just want you to know, the eyeshadows are buttery. I've already swatched them in another video. Um, I will, if I can figure out how to link that video below, I will do so. But when I went to put, when I started putting them on my eyes, I've been putting looks on Instagram, and I never hardly get likes on Instagram, you know, because, you know, whatever. Anyway, I started doing these videos. I'm just putting pictures up, you know, how mama looking today, whatever. Folks started coming over there even like cosmetics companies have started liking my instagram this right here and oh and it doesn't make my eye look look old if you watch a few of my videos you can see mama got a little age on her so when my eyes look younger it is because i am using the right products because some products can weigh them down this this is a special message to my black people. Collect your $52 and go into some place and pick this up. Try to see if you can get it someplace on sale. See if you can get a coupon. You know, you got some points or something. This is 
a year's worth of eyeshadow for $52. Now, if you are a person who just collects stuff and you sit it underneath the whatever cabinet and you pull it out and you'll declutter video 50 years later, but y'all see, I bought this. If you go to my Instagram, I have three or four looks already. And I would just said, oh, I'm just going to try it out and then I'll finish using what I was already using. Y'all, yeah. when I put this makeup here on, I felt like I was having one of those, what I call, um, drunk men commercials. You know, where the guy get drunk and do something real, real crazy because it's in him like that. When I put this eyeshadow palette on, I was ready to declutter all of my other palettes. I was like, wait a minute. The makeup world has been playing with me. They've been telling me that this is this and this is that and this is this. This is easy to use. It's buttery. It blends well. I'm getting no fallout with my techniques that I use. If you watch my mint, in my mint palette video, you'll see that I'm real good with using eyeshadow for fallout, but I'm getting no fallout with this. You know, none. And for any other company, I might be like, okay, no fallout, that's good. But for Lorac eyeshadows, that is un heard of. People who don't like Lorac eyeshadow, you will like this. And everybody, like I was watching today, I went and I was watching Jen Love's reviews live. And she had it on. Everybody's like, oh my God, your eyeshadow. It looks so good. What do you want? She's like, it's Pirates of Caribbean. I was watching Samantha. Yeah, see, I watch everybody. I don't care. I, I love makeup and I love people who love makeup. I just gotta, that's the truth. That's the truth. And you know, if you got five views, I'm probably one of them because I am I I ride hard for people who put videos on. Lighting ain't good, you know. Kids crying in the background, mama love you and I'm watching your video. Especially if I see you only got five views, I'm clicking you before anybody else. You know, showing some love, you know. But I'm sorry guys, I got distracted, but I want you to. About this mirror, I'm going to start with this shade right here. I want you to notice that I am using the rock eyeshadows with little or no fallout. I don't even know what that is. Okay, so I got the green on. I have wet my brush. It is soaking wet. And I am going to use it and wet another brush because I think this brush is too wet. Go back into the same color because they say you can use these wet or dry. So I want to see if it makes a difference. Okay. Okay, so there's a difference. It is more pigmented wet. So that's the difference. This one is without water. This one is with water. So you see, it's more pigmented. This one has a little sheer color. I like them both. Pirate's chest, right next to my C. Hayes. So pirate's, pirate's chest. Treasure. Okay, so now I'm putting treasure at the cut crease. I did wet this. I'm telling you guys, this is the best Lorac palette I've ever found. It's got the best colors selection I've ever gotten from them. And I have the Pro palette from them one and two. This formula is better. Cut the other one off camera. Open the crease with tail no tails. I want to keep it light. Okay, so I got that on, and I'm going to blend it out. This brush doesn't have it. I use this as a blender. Blend it in with ghostly. This is sea haze. Deep. 
in the corner cut crease with treasure. Treasure is a frost, so I don't have to worry about it getting too hard. And that is my finished eye look. I'm just going to add my eyeliner now. And I have a new one in my poppy box. This is the Rimmel Eyeliner. Scandalized? I've never tried it. So we're going to see. Okay. Well, it started really good. So. It's nice. I'm just going to try to remove most of my bake. Second coat of Super Shock. Thing in my eyes is my Milani. Just smudging out my Milani liner. Eyes are finished, but I am going to use my California Dreaming palette because um, I didn't have money to get the other one. And oddly enough, I'm going to use Wavelength. I didn't think I could use that, but I can. <laughs> look at that. And with this kind of eye look, you don't want a whole lot of blush. It's Wavelength. Contour out of the same palette with K. And to soften up my wrinkles. A bit blacker. God knows what. Oh, Lolita. It is a plum tone, or a rose tone. And I just wanted to break up, I got apricot cheeks and all the earth tones on my eyes. So I wanted to come in with something on the lips just a little bit different. And I'm going to add a little bit of um, apricot back into that plum. I got this from my new box pockets. Um, Oh my gloss, it's a it's got a peach scent to it. And I'm gonna take that around. And it just has a hint of apricot when it's mixed with the peach just on the outside gently. So juicy looking. If you like that like I do. And of course, I'm going to spray and make sure everything is together. And I'll be back. We're going to use this skin do. And I'm going to show you the trick for this one. You got to spray it in the air. And catch it. <laughs> Horrible sprayer. But it's good, so I found out how to use it. You see how powerful that spray is? Ooh, I got myself. But you know what? In my age, you can use a little do. So there it is. My Pirates of the Caribbean showed you how it works. This is the finished look. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I'm letting the camera get this close to me. And if you want reviews of any of these products, watch my videos, check my favorites videos, check my empties videos. I use my products. If you see me haul it, you see me use it. And not just once. Thanks for watching my video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share.